Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a Cloudy Sheep, and we are playing Command, Modern Naval and Air Operations. We just lost our Harrier um, in a fight against a, a couple of Mirages um, down here. Uh, it was the our guys were on a mission to stop um, one of their uh, evacs, and and again in one of these high value missions, uh, we got a bit cocky and um, basically just lost one one of our guys. So. We are now on our return uh, home, which is uh, fine, but oh, I've never seen that. What, what does that mean? Low. Low? In Lenacry? I'm not sure what that means. I think probably low altitude. No, it's not low altitude. Oh well, we, I don't know. doesn't matter. Uh, right now, w there are a couple of um, unfriendly um, targets uh, here that are coming in, and I'm a bit worried about what these guys are up to. Um, they might just be covering, providing air cover for, for this group up here, which has been happening more or less the entire game. Uh, but on the other hand, the uh, fact that two of these units launched uh, makes me think that one of them maybe is on, an, on a path to attack our Harrier. So uh, we will actually be moving up a bit here so um, that these guys are on a bit of more outward uh, facing uh, trajectory over there. Uh, we also co uh, uncovered a couple of um, ships down here which we'll certainly want to investigate but while we're doing that uh, we are still on our way here uh, with this Rush Hamidou um, craft which um, is exactly the type of craft that I don't particularly like because it has a couple of switchblades which can probably launch um, about 16 missiles in very a pretty long a far distance and um, rapid succession so basically launch 16 missiles um, and that would be devastating to our fleet so uh, we definitely definitely want to attack it um, as, as soon as we can and we will um, I guess be surfacing here to postscript depths at least not, not entirely surfacing of course um, but since they are now well within range um, I think we'll want to start an attack there very soon Right, um, we also uncovered a couple of mobile s things down here which um, I find very interesting but right now uh, very hard to assess what in exactly they are. Uh, let's accelerate time a bit. Alright, so they returned. Um, the upper group at least returned but the lower group um, there has adjusted uh, their bearing and is now coming in somewhat more closely to us, which I don't fancy, especially since I think that these guys are, yeah, falcons, so that's not good. <coughs> uh, they outrange us, and, and I think in a hurry against F-16 fights, we'd be losing pretty decisively. Let's um, assign one torpedo to these guys. <coughs> Should be making short work. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, short work, uh, we are lo uh, launching at a very short range, we probably have um, visual uh, confirmation of these guys, so yeah, they are not survive long, I guess. They don't even have sonar, so they not, might not even be noticing what's happening. At least so far they haven't accelerated. And while this happens, um, we will tell these guys later to, to bounce around here. Um, and then this guy should go up there to take that. Deal with that. Accelerate a bit. Will it hit? Yes, it did. Nice, 100% penetration. So immediate kill. How many people did we just kill? And I commented that by nice, about 50. Um, so, yeah, let's make sure we deal with that somewhat more similarly in the future. Full speed ahead. Um, you shouldn't be cavitating. Good. Good. Very nice. Let's keep in mind what's going on up here. These guys are coming in, so I will move these guys out. And these guys uh, will come in actually from the back over here. Skunk, new contacts. 
Six nautical miles. Interesting. Three seconds. What are you? And you must be very, very close. Certainly very interesting. I think you are something mobile, right? So a land target probably. But this guy up here. That's... What can you be? can only be this craft. Oh, so I think these guys did have some surf ships, submarines, depth charges, and anti-submarine rockets, rockets. A bit like a hedgehog. But of course the main weapon is this sort of heavy four missile salvo, heavy anti-ship stuff so not that great what did we actually um, see from you the radar surface to surface interesting they probably won't see us because our radar signature is so small um, up here we can see the potential for more trouble I'm actually going to bring these guys in to do this um, and air coverage there because these F-16s seemed like they were looking for us they're not doing that anymore. Uh, we also lost the goblin contact up here, which was probably a submarine. Uh, and we're not too sure how to deal with that. But yeah, let's see. What do we know about you? Some radar. More radar, including fire control. So you are very much likely not to be a civilian, um, but that's fine. Where are you going? I think you're going south. He's probably. Let's move you up here. Way in at zero knots. Supposed to go full speed ahead. Stuff up here is starting to be interesting as well. So we at some point need to make sure what's going on here and, and the uh, sort of. It's not the Spanish ship. It is the Egyptian ship. I wish there was a way to n manually tell it that this is what we're looking at. Um, radar, radar visual. Not sure what that is, but sonar. 80s technology, very depth sonar. Five nautical miles. So this guy isn't unlikely to spot us. Um, this guy here is also kind of likely to spot us. Not quite as bad because of this 1970s technology and he only needs one of these. Um, he might be towing, but I doubt he is. This is the LPD. This is our targets basically um, in the inner sector up here. You know what? We know you are hostile. Um, yeah, so our targets really are sort of in the inner sector of that. Um, this is a, again a Perry class ship of the Egyptian Navy, so not that great um, a sonar. And on the right side here, another frigate. Probably another f same guys, right? Yeah, Sona, Sona. Are you again of the same type? You certainly look like it. Yeah. So we want to penetrate into this inner layer uh, while still maintaining about five nautical miles distance um, from at least the outer guys. Although, if we were to attack these guys, by the way, what what weapons do you actually have um, against submarines? We know you can spot it as about five miles, but um, harpoons, that's not against us. Anti-aircraft guns, stuff, anti-submarine, or the range two nautical miles, and torpedoes, max range four nautical miles. 
which I believe is also our range, or at least our effective range. Um, if we have a look at you, what's your your max range is 30 nautical miles, but that is um, very um, unlikely. So you can see the kinematic range only is oh, so sorry, that's only the data link. Uh, the actual range of this guy um, is 20 nautical miles at 28 knots. Um, and then again, you know, if we were to fire with a torpedo of 28 nautical uh, knots at these guys, um, let's have a look at their max speed. Should be around down here. So 26 nautical miles. They could simply outrun us, um, and that wouldn't be wholly effective. So we would actually need to launch at the higher speed. Uh, which leaves us at a range of 11 nautical miles, and even then, um, we'd probably be need to be within three or four nautical miles to actually hit them if they were to turn and run away straight. So that's not too too great um, a deal, and I'd rather not want to do that. To be completely honest, there's no different band here either, so. It would be kind of interesting to, to defeat these two ships um, and maybe then launch our attack later on from the back so um, that we would be much more likely to uh, to actually hurt them by, by quite a bit. Um, how many people are we risking by doing this? 50 crew? Yeah, yeah, I think we might still do it. Um, and actually you know, commit ourselves to, to attacking them fully head on. About two hours here. Some of them more quickly. But these are just the anti air. Um, let's also have a look at the tanker situation up here. Are oh, you already? That's good. That's that's great to see actually. We could launch um our jets and, and try to intercept here, but I'm not too convinced that's um too helpful. What are you? Another surveillance craft. You know, last time this didn't, <laughs> it, it worked out okay-ish for us. Um, so we'll try to intercept that and maybe run away. Let's see if the um, F-16s there are going to do anything funky. If they're coming out, um, we will definitely reverse our course. But you can see they seem to be actually going to towards back to base, which is not what they're doing. Boogie, more boogies. That's you. Probably more mirages. No, make sure nines. Yeah, those were there too. Well. Let's keep on going. Next turn around. Okay. You know what? Turn on. Uh, turn on radar. Yes. This will make us likely to be spotted. Keep a very close eye on the F 16s. What is this? The MiG. MiG 29s? Yeah. Yeah, we won't be fighting MiG 29s. Get out. Just get out. They're not that close, but um, they definitely, I think, are moving in towards us. So you know what? It takes a look like this course. Not sure whether these guys would be doing anything. Uh, let's also have a look down there. That seems fine. I'm worried about these guys and definitely worried about the MiG-29s down there. 
It would have been nice to, to catch them, but I didn't think we would. F-16s are returning. So that means we can tell you guys to actually maybe just cruise so you don't burn quite as much fuel and you can remain airborne for a while. What's going on down here? Not much. How are things looking up here? Certainly very interesting. Have you any sort of fancy No, no, yes. And it's very quick as well. Yeah, it's a it's a Mark forty six, so this is this is a light um sort of torpedo because you don't need that much to kill a submarine. Um we will however be moving towards this direction which I realize probably isn't the greatest idea in terms of sonar. Can we see the signatures? Side rear. You are slightly more visible from the rear. Yeah, well, um, basically I want my two ships up here to be arriving more or less at the same time. So uh, we will be trying to, to get that. Also 11 knots might be a bit much. Let's slow down a bit. These guys are simply on their holding pattern, which is fine. For quite a while since we spotted these guys last. So at least they are running without um, radar on. Aircraft up here, about an hour, so in the evenings it would be a night attack, but I don't think that's bothering us too, too much. Uh, by the way, were these guys ever really... What are you... All of these sonar boys, I don't want to click the sonar boys! Want to click this aircraft here? Yeah, it's your rear. So I think our... Harriers have landed, which is good. Speed up time a bit more. Contact Sonboy. Sonboy. S63. S63 is where? It's not you or you. Although we do have a target fix on this ship now. I definitely if you want to explore that. Five knots. You're going twelve knots. Yeah, I think we should be able to reach you. And then the Sonar Boy is this. And I don't think you are friendly. So this is probably some sort of helicopter coming up from you. Do you even have hangar space? So steel, steel, steel. Don't think you do. But maybe this guy. Periclass? Yeah, that looks a lot like a helipad. Docking facilities. Aircraft facilities, yeah. So it does have enough space for a couple of helicopters, and I think that's what we're seeing here. Which does make life a bit more difficult for us, I guess. How are things looking up here? I think that's fine. My boogies. Yes, sir. I can be. <coughs> Where are they? Three fifty. 
Oh yeah. Just this plane. I'm so tempted to go go for it. You know what? We are going to go down there. On a cruise speed, yeah that's fine. Yeah, you are definitely in range now. No boogies? I think that's probably the... <coughs> What's going on? Did you actually launch... What's going on? You must be an anti-aircraft, right? It sticks. Can I please stop for a second here? You have surface ships. Ah, okay, so you are a ground-based anti-ship range and you just got targeted? No. What did we hear splash though? Wasn't you. You're not being targeted. Anything up here? Not that I can tell. Ooh. Up here. Look at that. Okay. So, this is very interesting. We found Goblin 353. Where is it? I completely missed that. Boogie. Mobile? 353. Okay, so first S71 um, has has a problem there as well. So let's have a look at that. S71. Is that you? No, that. S74. Damn it, I always get confused by the uh, <laughs> diminution over here. So, yeah, you are actually a problem child right now. You should be at Periscope depth. That's fine. Um, I'm trusting you can snorkel, and going at 5 nautical miles is very fine to me. So, yeah, you do that. Um, however, the goblin up there. How how is this not something you would tell me, game? Um, anyway, it was spotted about a second ago um, by our um, helicopter up here. So this Seahawk must um, probably by by dipping or by some sonar boy um, actually have spotted this um, goblin up here. Uh, we don't know much about it, but it's being attacked um, by one of our um, anti-submarine M46 things up here let's see if it hits anything it doesn't really need to be anything right it, it's it is something it is something so <laughs> that's very nice um, so you can see that uh, we have a couple of, of um, boys over here which uh, have been laid out um, by our anti-submarines. You can see, still see the holding pattern over here and one of the missions I think um, anti-submarine warfare alpha pattern up here which includes a, at least six um, is, is in active in this area so slightly ahead of our group alpha up here which is moving through you can sort of see the position of the ships up here they're all cavitating because they're going pretty fast, so they were pretty much lighting up on the enemy um, sonar. And the sonar, the um, submarine tried to sneak in from the front, similar to what we're trying to do down there. Um, and then our Sea Org up here realized they were there. I would guess with the dipping sonar. Does it have that? Dipping sonar, yeah. Um, found it and immediately launched a missile um, at it. 
or this guy, well, either of these, um, launch a missile, edit, uh, a, a torpedo edit, and really um, nicely got it. 75% uh, hit chance, um, even without really properly identifying it. But that's fine. Um, it's been the S-311 Albada. So we are going to try and look that up in the database up here. It's going to be submarine, and it is going to be the S-300 11 Albada from the Libyan Navy up here. So Foxtrot class ship from 1977. Um, 70 crew, so a bit uh, bigger than our ship actually. Attack class fleet submarine um, can go 250 meters down. So no technology which really isn't that, that good. 50s, 60s technology. So that's also why it couldn't really um, get away from us. Um, sort of short range but um, pretty hefty warhead 300 kilogram um, torpedo so that would have been really quite um, difficult. Passive sonar is I think about what our ships are emitting so that's fine. Double hull so it has more damage points. I think it must be Soviet design right? Foxtrot. Um, kind of speedy but fine. Yeah very nice got it Love it, love it. Sometimes you know that's just the way it has to be. So on this positive note, um, I think we'll call it um, a day here. Next uh, episode we'll probably attack this craft down here with our submarines um, and actually launch our first uh, submarine attack on these guys up here. Um, and hopefully not get uh, have the same fate that we just uh, witnessed on the enemy submarine. But until then, Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.